Kitka is a women's vocal ensemble. It was founded in 1979 by a group of Bay Area women who were basically just joined together in their passion for the traditional music of Eastern Europe. It's a, a very unique style of music, a unique style of singing, um, and also a really varied um, style of singing. There are numerous genres within the broad genre of Eastern European women's vocal music. You know, it's the difference between the, the falsetto voice, just like, a, you know, sort of the normal voice that you would hear women singing in in this country, just like, oh, just that light sort of resonating in the head versus going, ah. Uh, yips and screams when the music gets exciting, you know, you might go, yip, yip. going out into the countryside and visiting people in the villages and seeing how kind of basic and earthy their lives are and, and how everything seems a little more honest in some way. It's like constant adventure to meet people from other countries, to go to the other countries, to learn the songs and to to learn how to be our own little village together. I, I, I think being here makes it deeper. I think coming here and singing these songs, for me anyway, completely different experience. The songs are different for me now that I've been here. that I would sing with took me to see Kitka. This was about in 1984 or so. And I just wept throughout the whole concert. It was, it was so moving to me. This music is so soulful. And, um, and I just had to, had to do it. But I really believe that singers, um, because what we share is our voices, and our voices come from inside of us, from our breath, we can't help but be emotional. Singing is the most personal, most intimate artistic expression, I think, singing is. And so when you have a group singing together, especially women, without instruments, just our voices, that's emotion, it just is. First of all, it's a beautiful way to be together with other people, with you know, this group, to be with a group of women and sing the way we sing. That's, that's what the moment is about. It's not about what did we study and, you know, am I thinking about all the words and, you know, I'm thinking about a translation. It's here we are and I get to share this moment of singing, sharing my voice with these other amazing women. That's an event and that's, I don't know, that connection gives me a lot of energy. We actually got to sing those songs with the women in the villages, which was the most incredible experience that I personally have ever had. <laughs> and um, those songs will also be featured in the Rusalka Cycle, 
Mariana Sadowska, the, the composer for the Rusalka cycle, is basically taking folk melodies that are very old and very traditional, and she's making them into a large, almost symphonic piece. I feel like it really helps to keep the music alive because the fact that um, traditional music lives on is benefited by the fact that people love it and want to change it in some way. It can't stay still, so the fact that people are excited enough about it to want to put their own inspirations into it, I think is what keeps it alive. I think the most satisfying aspect of Kitka's work is sharing the joy of singing, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching to help someone find their voice, an intimate vocal workshop and dialogue around a dining room table, or bringing together a multi-generational, multicultural community choir, or expanding the musical worldview of a massive youth chorus. It's all about passing the songs on, singer to singer, soul to soul, culture to culture. This is how traditional music has always functioned and traveled in the world. This is how we try to fulfill our vision of creating global community through song. I've been in the group so long and I, I see it evolve and um, you've done some pretty wild things that, uh, that aren't where we started out and so I think it will go farther in some way. But you should ask the young women because they'll, they, maybe they have big ideas and they're, I, hope they're, I hope that the young women in the group are going to be in the group for 25 years also like <laughs> I was. And maybe I'll still be in the group. I'll be a hundred years old and I'll, they'll let me stand on the stage and sing with them. It'll be so, I'll feel, still feel really lucky because it's been so much fun. And we're, we just are so grateful that we get to have this kind of fun and, um, and adventure. That's the coolest thing, that we're like a little village of women who love each other and we haven't killed each other yet, but we're together constantly. So it's kind of like um, probably what village life used to be like. No more drugs. 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 No more drug